I'm here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and I'm joined by GenCell CEO, Rami Reshef. So it's so glad to have you with me here. Great to, to meet you, Catherine. Yeah, so let's start with what are fuel cells and how do they fit into the larger sustainability conversation? Fuel cell, in a, in a sentence, this is an electrochemistry device that combines two different gases, oxygen and hydrogen, in order to create 100% green power. With the only byproducts are heat and water. So sounds fantastic, all right? So the question is how it could fit to in our existing and future energy system. So we are here in the Mobile World Congress. This is a telecom show, and we believe that your solution could be part of the future of energy future of the telcos industry in order to immune their uh, system, their network, and also to connect the unconnected. Uh, in remote and uh, remote locations. Great, and from a more technical perspective, can you talk to me a little bit about the evolution of the fuel, fuel cell that you expect to see? Yes, so basically fuel cells, as I said before, it's run on a hydrogen. In fact, when we run on a hydrogen, it means that you need to supply a gas. The logistics of supplying gas, it's very, very uh, uh, costly and complex. So we believe that you have one kind of technology that can offer what we call long duration backup in order to mitigate potential outages as an as a outcome of global warming. The next generation, this is a system that runs on liquid fuel called ammonia and the, beautiful, the beauty about this type of technology is that you can use this type of system to displace the usage of diesel generator and you can run a system 24-7 with one refueling a year. So this is where we believe that will allow the telco providers to roll out their 5G and 6G to remote location where IoT is also a necessity, such as smart farming, smart mining, etc. Right, and you've, in both of your answers, made it clear a little bit how uh, this is relevant to the telco space, but can you also tell me about the total green solution and how that fits into telco? Yes, so if you look right now on the world itself, almost three billion people lack proper electricity for any economic development. And they lack this electricity because the grid is not there and most likely will not be there in the next 100 years. So we believe that fuel cell technology could play a role in order to improve their life. The way that we can do it is by presenting a technology that will use renewable energy as a feedstock to generate uh, green ammonia, green ammonia as an energy storage in order to power fuel cell. And by that to offer a self-sustained, resilient circular economy. Great, and you know, for my last question, let's talk a little bit about the momentum that the company is getting around partnerships. So first, what are you doing with DT? And also, what are you doing with DTK? Okay, great. So uh, actually, we are here in, in the DT booth. They are hosting us. And yes, very, it's very, a little <laughs> on very, the very, nose, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, their slogan is that the magenta is the new green. Uh -huh. So which means that we have shared vision about uh, the fact that as much that we can use uh, green technology that will uh, benefit uh, not only the companies but also also the world. So we have an, uh, what we call innovation collaboration agreement with uh, uh, with TD, while they have uh, tested our systems in Israel and now and now they are about to test it in Germany to see how they could implement in their network. And with TDK, TDK it's uh, actually it's the second largest lithium ion batteries in the world. They joined Gensel not only as a partner but also as a shareholder because we are sharing the same vision of supplying total green energy everywhere, anywhere. Rami, thank you so much for talking with me today. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you very much for your time.